What's up guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. In previous videos, we talked about Michaelis Menten, we talked about Lynn Weaver Burke, we discussed competitive inhibitors as well as non competitive inhibitors. Today, we'll talk about mixed inhibitors. This is my biochemistry playlist. Please try to watch these videos in order, especially the last video about competitive versus non competitive inhibitors. Because there are four types of enzyme inhibitors competitive, non competitive, mixed, and uncompetitive. Today, we're talking about number three. Recall that enzymes boost the rate of the reaction, but they lower the activation energy. Enzymes are not changed by the reaction. They do not change the equilibrium position. They do not alter thermodynamics or the overall delta G. Enzymes have a front door active site for catalytic activity initiators and a back door allosteric site non-catalytic. This is for regulators. The only inhibitors that bind to the active site are the competitive inhibitors. Every other inhibitor will bind to the allosteric site. In the last video, we talked about the difference between Cody the capitalist versus Nancy the Karen. Cody the capitalist is very competitive, occupies the active site, it decreases the affinity, which raises the Km, there is no change in the Vmax. The competitive inhibitor is the only inhibitor that binds the active site. It's the only inhibitor that does not lower the Vmax. Competitive inhibitors crush the affinity, i.e. Km will climb. Because Km and affinity are always opposites. The next story is Nancy the Karen, non-competitive inhibitors, binding to the allosteric site. Nancy does not change the affinity, therefore there is no change in Km. Except for competitive inhibitors, every other inhibitor will lower the Vmax. To understand competitive inhibitors, think of having a shop that sells 10 cars per day to 10 different customers. Then Cody the capitalist came and open shop next to that shop at the active site of doing business. Now Cody took five customers from the old guy. So did Cody affect the attraction, the affinity of customers to the old store? The answer is yes. Affinity went down, therefore KM goes up. But did Cody the capitalist affect the net sales revenue or the net number of units sold? The answer is no. Vmax does not change. So competitive inhibitors, Cody the capitalist, KM will climb. We crush the affinity. Can we overcome Cody? Yes by providing better products and services to customers. Since you can overcome it, therefore there is no change in Vmax. Next, a mnemonic for non-competitive inhibitors, Nancy the Karen. Imagine that you, the enzyme, were driving your car, the substrate, down the road in the neighborhood. The speed limit was 15. You were driving 20. Nancy yelled at you, quote, I'm gonna call the police. What do you think is going to happen to your velocity after hearing this? You will slow down. Vmax will decrease. But you still love your old Ford Model T car, which means the affinity between you and your car did not change. Nancy cannot alter the Km. By drawing the michaelis menten graph, competitive inhibitors are here. Shift to the right. Non-competitive inhibitors are here. Shift downwards. On the Lynn Weaver Burke graphs, competitive inhibitors will still give you a rightward shift, but now non-competitive inhibitors will give you an upward shift. Notice that with competitive inhibitors, the two lines will intersect on the y-axis, but with non-competitive inhibitors, the two lines will intersect on the x-axis. Let's compare between the two, competitive versus non-competitive. Bind to the active site, bind to the allosteric site. Competitive Km will climb because we have crushed the affinity. Non-competitive does not affect the affinity, therefore does not affect Km. Competitive is the only one that does not lower the Vmax. Every other inhibitor lowered the Vmax. 
Let's add mixed inhibitors to the picture. Where do they bind? Allosteric site. They might decrease the affinity, so Km will go up, or raise the affinity, so Km will go down. Mixed inhibitors always lower the Vmax. Why is that? Because mixed inhibitors are mixed. Sometimes they bind the enzyme alone. In other times, they bind the enzyme substrate complex. If they bind the enzyme alone, of course, no one else will be able to bind. Affinity decreases and Km will go up. If they bind the enzyme substrate complex, the substrate and enzyme are already bound, so the affinity is high. Km is low. Mixed inhibitors have different affinity for H. The affinity here is not the same as the affinity here, which is the exact opposite of non-competitive inhibitors. Non-competitive inhibitors had the same affinity for the enzyme alone or for the enzyme substrate complex. It was the same. Mixed inhibitors will bind to the allosteric site like the non-competitive inhibitors. Vmax is gonna go down like with the non-competitive inhibitors and the two curves before and after will intersect on a point that's neither on the x-axis nor the y-axis. This is the graph where the affinity went up because I bound to the enzyme substrate complex and this is the graph where the affinity went down because I bind to the enzyme alone. Whether you do it this way or this way, the point of intersection is neither on the x-axis nor the y-axis. So please pause and review. With competitive inhibitors, the two lines, control and after adding the inhibitor, intersected on the y-axis. With the non-competitive inhibitors, both lines intersected on the x-axis. With mixed inhibitors, both lines will intersect on a point that's neither on the x-axis nor the y-axis. If you like this video, you'll enjoy my emergency medicine high yields course on my website, as well as my toxicology course and my general pharmacology course. You can download all of my premium courses at medicosisperfectionalist.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalist, where medicine makes perfect sense.